I'm Abby Cahill, editorial intern here at Uncubed, and today I'm going to demystify the API. Chances are, if you're confused about something, other people are as well. APIs are a perfect example because we're hearing more and more about them in new product releases. Major publications like Forbes and TechCrunch are predicting that 2017 is going to be the year of the API economy. API, or Application Programming Interface, is defined as a system of tools and resources in an operating system, enabling developers to create software applications. API usually uses JSON as the main language. JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation, is an open source JavaScript library of methods designed to extract and manipulate data stored in HTML documents. In this way, APIs can aggregate data and complete processes over totally disparate systems. In this figure, application A will send API requests in HTTP format to the API server, which then processes the requests, completes commands, and sends back results. It helps to compare an API to a messenger, like this vendor behind the counter. She needs to get the burger from the chef and then bring it to the customer. The API receives a request, collects and processes a response, and then returns with that response. Let's look at an example. Apple Maps makes life easier by providing directions to any given location. The app has four options for mode of transportation, drive, walk, transit, and ride. The ride feature allows users to select travel options from different ride services. For example, you could take an Uber. But when you call an Uber using Apple Maps, the Maps app is going to need some information from Uber. How many cars are available? Where are they located? And how much will it cost? An Uber API receives these requests and then reveals the necessary information. Let's say Apple Maps wants to show you Uber's estimated price from point A to point B as an Uber pool option. Apple would send an HTTP request function in the API code to Uber where command start longitude is point A and end latitude is point B. Uber's API then will send the information back that Apple Maps requested. Now Apple Maps has the information it requested from Uber's API to show the Apple Maps user how much an Uber pool ride would cost. Another example, Tinder, uses a Facebook API to access valuable user information like gender, age, and mutual friends. It also allows users to create an account through Facebook in just one tap. Similarly, Yelp uses a Google Maps geocoding API to convert restaurant addresses into geographic coordinates which can then be placed as markers on a map. Now, when you hear that bigger companies are opening up their APIs, you'll know that that's good news for innovation at smaller companies and startups. So that's APIs demystified.